What's up guys, Von Red one here, and funny how I think like two days ago, or was it yesterday, I made this video saying I want Sony to put their PlayStation Classics on PC. And now today we have something similar that happened, not PlayStation Classics, but their current platform's games will now be playable on PC through PS Now. Yes, in coming this year you can stream PS4 games on PS Now. If you go on the official PlayStation blog, it says that right now PS Now allows you to stream exactly 483 at this date, 483 games to your PS4 or your PC because they dropped support for the PS3, the TVs, and the Vita. And now they're going to expand it to include PS4 games. Let's see, all of the games in the service, including PS4 games, will be included with a single PS Now subscription. We'll share more information as we get closer to launch, so stay tuned. In the next few weeks, we'll kick off a private test with PS4 games on PS Now. If you're an active PS Now subscriber, keep an eye on your email in case you get an invitation. If you're new to PS Now, the subscription service offers access to... Okay, that's pretty much just explaining it. Again, you can play it on PS4 and PC. Those are the only two ways to play it now. But, yeah. This is interesting, and it is a step in the right direction. I do... I am excited to see how this works, because even though PS Now is regarded by a lot, and including myself, as irrelevant and just kind of dumb, I do find it interesting that they're going to at least support this thing. They, they're they sticking through it. Normally when Sony doesn't see immediate um, profit or immediate success from a device, they drop it. <coughs> Vita. But still, this is pretty impressive to say the least that they're going to be able to put PS4 games on here. Some fuck. I don't know who the hell's outside the house right now. But um, interesting to see how it'll work. I mean, PS Now right now, we knew it could do like 720p 60 or whatever the PS3 games did. So now we'll be able to see how this looks at 1080p 60, which I'm curious about because not even with the um, PC streaming right now, as you can just stream from your console to your PC when you download the remote play app, that's not even 1080p. I think the highest resolution you can get for that is like 900p. I might be wrong. If I am wrong, correct me in the comments. But um, this is interesting. Uh, nonetheless, I hope that they go beyond this, beyond PS Now, and eventually just port their games to PC because now they've announced PS4 games on there that's two platforms of games they promised that PS1 and PS2 classics will come to PC long before it was even uh, um will come to PS now on before this PS4 announcement so essentially they are trying to do a streaming service for every PlayStation game including the third party versions but I don't know why the main flaw with this is why would someone play the um PS now version of a multi-plat when they're on PC this, like, this only honestly benefits someone who has a very weak PC and a PS4 to have third-party games on there, of course. If they made PlayStation Now only multi, only exclusive games, and they're like upscale 1080p, then I could see it being worth it, especially for PC um, gamers. But right now, like, nine-tenths of the library for PS Now is irrelevant because they can play the game better on Steam or on Origin, etc. So, at least now PS4 games are coming into the mix. This is good, but still, PC gamers don't like... 30 frames per second and because you're streaming it you're just streaming the ps4 game at this point in time with the information they've given us we can assume it's going to be the basic ps4 game no enhancements or anything if anything it'll be worse than playing it on native ps4 because when you're streaming it, you're going to have extra latency you're going to have dropped on um, the visuals aren't going to look as good because it'll be over bandwidth instead of just coming from the hard drive directly so they have to make it better. Also, is this going to be the PS4 version of the game or the PS4 Pro version of the game? I don't think you can stream HDR yet. I don't know for sure, but uh, I know YouTube added support for videos. But I don't know if it supports streaming. So what if someone has a 4K TV? What if they have like a KS8000? They want to play this game. They're like, oh yeah, I don't have a PS4, but Horizon looks cool. One, they got to play it in 30 frames, regardless of if it's Pro or the original. Two... Is this going to be the pro version? Will they be able to play it at a higher resolution than 1080p? Will they get the HDR? We don't know all this stuff yet, so Sony should um, announce some things later. They're going to start doing tests soon, apparently, so we can just... People will have that uploaded on YouTube for sure. Digital Foundry might have a piece to do on it. And we'll see if we'll go from there. But um, good move, Sony. Good step in the right direction. Admit that PC cannot be competed against. Admit that you just need to accept it. The PlayStation console can always exist, 
but uh, for those that don't want to um, go with the headache of PC, but um, for us PC gamers out there, I mean, if I could sell my PS4, I wouldn't feel sad. I might keep it, to be honest. But uh, I'd, I'd still play the games on PC, the ones that are on there. I mean, like Rocket League, that wasn't, that wasn't exclusive in general, but like Rocket League, I have a PC now, so I'll never go back to the PS4 version. It's just for reasons like that, so good step in the right direction. Expand it beyond streaming, do ports. I think that's what's going to happen next. PS Now is going to be cool and all, but people are going to be like, I don't want to play this on the network connection. People can't use this right now because their internet's bad. So... Yeah, just keep doing this, Sony, and then eventually get to the point where you just say, we're going to put these games on PC because I would love to play Uncharted 4 or Horizon and that 1080p, 60 frames per second. Hell, the new Ratchet and Clank, just at 60 frames per second. All these games on PS4 that are awesome, would love to play them at 60 frames. They're, they're, they're enjoyable at 30. I've loved them at 30. I've platinumed all three that I just mentioned at 30. But still, playing them at 60 would be awesome, especially the Uncharted 4 multiplayer. The way it feels, I mean, I'm not going to talk about the multiplayer itself, but the way it feels is fantastic. Imagine the campaign feeling that good. And on that note, I'm going to leave it right there. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. Does this change your mind about PS now? Does this make you excited, or do you still just want, or are you like me and you just want them to port the game to PC so you can play it the way you want? Let me know all that down below in the comments, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Von Red 1 signing out.